a number of years back when I was working with the Bellingham Public Schools and a really good group of school librarians, we took a look at the research process and felt that there were stages that uh, a student might pass through and that if the students were aware of those stages, the success of their research would be very much improved. So we invented something which we call the research cycle. And the reason we use the word cycle was that most people don't know what they don't know when they start their research and they need to pass through these stages uh, and sort of muck around a little bit, get to know the subject before they really have the capacity to formulate the, the questions that will lead them to new insights. There's always a danger that they'll start with some preconceptions and do their research to actually document and prove the positions that they had before they really knew very much. So as you look at the book, you'll see that the research cycle does involve a circular path uh, where as you learn more and more about the subject, you go back to the questioning stage and revise your questions. And as you pass through these stages, you begin with questioning, you move to planning, then you uh, do a certain amount of uh, gathering, sorting and sifting. You stop and evaluate, you know, how are you doing? Uh, are you at the point where you can synthesize your findings and come to some kind of conclusion or recommendation? Uh, or do you need to go back through the cycle again uh, a number of times uh, with your questions sharpening and improving as you pass through the process? So we found over the years that this becomes really useful in helping students to understand the stages they might pass through.